Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, he is Yoshihiro Korosan de Sere Kamaga. He has captured five world titles in four divisions. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the former super lightweight, former two-time welterweight, former super welterweight, and former middleweight champion of the world, the fighting pride of Carlos Puerto Rico, Miguel Angel. But the Puerto Ricans have come out strong for Miguel Cotto. And he goes up against Yoshihiro Kamagai. Cotto in the black trucks. Kamagai with a body shot right away. Miguel Angel Cotto. Caguas, Puerto Rico. And you heard Michael Buffer saying, and former, so many accomplishments in his career. Born in 1980, Miguel Cotto. He turned 37 in October as Kamigai. A fight took all of 2016 off. And here he is back. He's now working with Golden Boy Promotions. That's why he's the main event tonight. Kamigai. Kamigai's doing the right thing. He's not landing all of these punches, but he's doing the right thing by getting in close. He, he had trained and sparred, but no he fights. hasn't been in the ring since 2015. Kamigai guy is That's taking the power, taking the accuracy, and he's burning that veteran's liver, those lefts to the body, and that's exactly what the brawler, the gatekeeper, the grinder should do. But you call them fights. You don't call them boxing matches yeah. with Kamigai. Oh, oh, left from Cotto. Snapping back the head of Kamigai. Third round, a strong round in the second for Miguel Cotto. Starting the third strong also. So this is Kamigai, he comes at you. So we're wondering about that ring rust. No. Cotto bouncing around. He can do some work on the inside. Uppercut, so can Cotto with that right. It's just not as, as accurate and powerful as Miguel Cotto. If we get a, a close look at Miguel Cotto, we will see blood from his lip. He is eating some punches in this fight. He's also landing some hard rights in this round. So far in this fight, it seems like Kamagai is more committed to the body attack. Right hand from Cotto, who's committed to the right to the jaw of Kamagai. Yeah, he's head hunting because the head is right there. <laughs> Kamagai's head is right there for him. Again. Good left hook. Minutes to go in the fifth. Miguel Cotto, future Hall of Famer, showing why here at the age of 36. Kamigai gets hit and slaps his own arms. <laughs> That's the voice of Sunday Tanaka. So for those of you who speak Japanese, you know what's up. I don't. Slap, but look at Cotto. Bouncing around, having fun in that ring. Freddie's asking for it, but upstairs is open. Double hook, moving around with Tanaka. About uh, Cotto fighting uh, David Lemieux, who's a middleweight contender, former okay. IBF title holder, and also a Golden Boy fighter. But I don't know about that. Lemieux is a big dude. He's at 160. <laughs> He's, he can barely make 160, David He's Lemieux. Yeah. I mean, he struggles to make 160. And Miguel Cotto is a small junior middleweight. Yeah. And we're seeing him in there with a regular size junior middleweight who could probably fight at 147 if he wanted to. He used to fight at welterweight, Kamagai did. And Cotto is landing everything and the kitchen sink, and he can't knock Kamagai down. So that Kamagai can't forget about the body. He is landing some short little punches on the inside. They do not have the snap and leverage that Cotto's punches have. But whenever he's in close, he needs to, to tap that liver of Cotto's. Especially you see Miguel Cotto at the Stub Hub Center in Carson, California, home of the LA Chargers. 
Not the LA Rams, the Chargers, also the LA Galaxy, but it's, this spot is for boxing. Javier Razo, Rod Garfield High alum, football all-star, matchmaker for Golden Boy. Text me, this is a fun fight, isn't it? Yeah, you're right, Razo, you guys did a good job matching this. The entire card tonight was well done. Also, Eric P, vice president for Golden Boy. Cutting the checks with these Cotto looks a little bit arm-weary. He's been throwing. Yeah, he's been working very hard. Kamagai was, say that. Kamagai was successful at setting a hard, fast pace. It hasn't served him yet. Look at I the think Kamagai has lost Cotto every now. round, but there's been some rounds where it's been close. He's feeling Miguel Cotto. But he keeps on running. I love that about him. He'll get hit, take a step back, and then run at you. Fans want to see that. They like that. It's not taut, right? No. <laughs> that's not how you're supposed to approach your opponent. No. But it's dramatic. It's kind of funny. It's kind of quirky. And punching very effectively. Kind of guy stays on him. Yeah, he doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. And this. Just the pressure that kind of guy brings to you. He might not be landing shots, but he's in your face. He doesn't let you breathe. Yeah, I have to imagine he is a stressful opponent. And Simoso. And you better have, you better have healthy knuckles. You better not have hand problems against this guy. The managers. <laughs> but it's like have a, to have their gym just like to get schools, a right? license out there. Yes. It's like academies, I should say. Yeah. They're very clean in comparison to our boxing gyms. Really? At least the ones that I went to in Tokyo. It was 10 years ago. And he came back. And then after the, the punishing fight with Manny Pacquiao, a lot of folks said, well, he's done. He might as well retire. What does he need this for anymore? He comes back and wins a, a junior middleweight title. Whenever you count him out, he comes back. He had a, a bad 2012. Lost to Floyd Mayweather, although he, it was, I thought he acquitted himself quite well. But then the unexpected loss to Austin Trout, then undefeated, a little bit under the yep. radar. As he's keeping a high guard. Well, Cotto's also he's moving great. His, his footwork is excellent. He, he changes uh, his road work. Instead of running to putting miles on his legs, he's a big swimmer now. Yeah, stationary bike and swimming. You get that pounding from the road. It's a low impact aerobic exercise. All about low impact. Smart. And he's boxing smart. Yeah. That jab is still hard on those more sort of throwaway jabs. Ten seconds to go in the tenth. Another strong round from Miguel Cotto. He's controlling this fight. with the type of relentless pressure and power punching that, that Lemieux brings to the ring. I'm, I'm looking right now at a, a rather small junior middleweight who can't put away uh, a rather average junior middleweight. No disrespect to, to Kamagai, but he's not a top 10 contender. He's a gatekeeper. 54, you have what, Charlo? You have, uh, you have one of the Charlo brothers. One of the Charlos. Yeah, Jimmy needs to do in this sport. He won world titles. Made a lot of money, he's earned the, the respect of his countrymen and the admiration of boxing fans around the world. He's done enough to, to merit Hall, and fame, Hall of Fame induction. What else, what's left out there? Also, it's, when you start talking retirement, that's when you should retire, yeah. right? I agree. I could go one farther, or I could take advantage of this this grueling war these guys just had. I mean, we don't know. We don't know what kind of fight we're going to get on September 16th. I mean, I know it's going to it's going to be entertaining, but I don't know what kind of if there's going to be a knockout. Yeah, you're right. Final gonna seconds. They're going to go at it. And that'll do it. Twelve strong. The new WBO Junior. Middleweight champion of the world, the Boricua, the Paraguas, Puerto Rico, Miguel Angel Cotto.